Good Friday morning, lads. I'm Jaden McDonald. And I'm Yolanda Morrison, and this is your KWHS News. Seniors, if you completed your application with Pikes Peak on April 6th, remember, they'll be back on Wednesday, April 26th to help you select classes for the fall semester. Get hall passes for the counseling office to attend any college visits. And while you're there, check out other important college-related information, such as scholarships, financial aid, deadline. Attention all students. The library needs its books back. If you have overdue books, please return them to the library ASAP to avoid being put on condition. The end is near, and the last day to check out books is April 27th. Not sure if you have any other outstanding conditions or fees? Check Infinite Campus. Seniors. This is especially important for you because you must clear your conditions and fees by April 25th to ensure you receive your diploma in May. Return your books to the library before or after school and pay your fees in the business office. Hey senior, graduation is about 25 short days away and the senior class would like to include your photos in the graduation slideshow. Get them early to Benny Trujillo at his email. Please make sure your photos are school appropriate and have only seniors in them. Remember, last minute submissions may not be included. Attention seniors, time is running out for you to buy your year. For a limited time, the yearbook staff has a deal for you. When you buy your senior yearbook for $65, you can get one for a prior year for an additional $10. So if you didn't buy a yearbook your freshman year, now is your chance to get that one, but only while supplies last. It's a cool deal. If you're buying a yearbook for this year, those are still only $65. Go to yearbookforever.com or the business office to buy yours now before prices go up. Hey Jaden, what's your favorite kind of pie? I'm not a fan of pie unless I can smoosh it in someone's face. Well, you're in luck, Glads. The Environmental Club is having a pie smushing contest this month to celebrate Earth Day and help help save the trees. For only one dollar, you can buy a chance for the opportunity to have Mr. L. Hoffer and Mr. Cummings, Deputy Stevens, or Mr. Southworth wear a pie for Earth Day. Buy your tickets today from the Environmental Club member or go to room 204. Remember, the Earth Day Festival will be next Friday, April 21st, and that's when you can smush a pie in their And speaking of pie, hey Jaden, Miss Betsy has a great lunch plan today. Wanna know what it is? I sure do. Hey Miss Betsy, what's for lunch? Happy Friday everybody. We made it through another week testing everything. Today we're having chicken tenders with Mashed potatoes and gravy. Hope to see you then. Thanks and have a great weekend. Bye-bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Students, please remember to pay your lunch charges in the cafeteria or add money to your account. Attention all students. Have you ever wondered what DECA students do? What is DECA anyways? If you are interested in joining DECA, come to a lunch meeting on Wednesday, April 19th in Lab 159. Miss Hildebrand will explain it all and answer any additional questions. If you are not able to attend this meeting, see Miss Hildebrand in Lab 159 for details. Students, if you need help with an academic subject, NHS students are offering tutoring during advisory. Stop by the library on Wednesday to sign up for a time and pick up a pass for Thursday. You will be able to use computers at this time too. If you need help, you should really check it out. Now here is Dylan Mack with our sports update. Hey Glads, it's Friday, and I'm Dylan Mack with your Gladiator Sports Update. Volleyball Open Gym happens on Wednesdays in Bowers Gym from 3 to 5 p.m. All current and prospective volleyball players who are not playing a spring sport are invited to join us to bump, set, and spike our ways through next year's season. Gentlemen, Open Gym time for basketball happens on Thursdays from 6 to 8 in Bowers Gym. If you are interested in playing basketball next year, come refine your skills at the Open Gym. The Cops vs. Kids charity basketball game is scheduled for tonight in Bowers Gym. The early game starts at 5.30 with the 8th graders taking on their teachers. The Widefield High School Mesa team take on the Cops at 7 p.m. Cost for the game is two dollars but you will get a raffle ticket for prizes you can buy more raffle tickets for two dollars a piece or buy fifteen for twenty dollars see deputy stevens for more information 
here are some scores from Wednesday and Thursday games. The ladies tennis teams easily outmatched Mesa on Thursday, adding to their streak. Way to go ladies. Our ladies tennis team plays on the road today and tomorrow at Fountain Fort Carson. On the soccer field, our ladies played the Mitchell Marauders last night and added a W to their record. Nice work, ladies. The baseball team is on the road for the next two games. First, they travel to Woodland Park today for a game against the Panthers at 4 p.m. On Saturday, they are off to Thornton for a game against Skyview High School at 10 a.m. The Glads hope to add a few more W's to their season record. Good luck to all our sports teams this weekend. This past Wednesday, Max Martinez signed his letter of intent to run track at CSU Fort Collins. Congratulations, Max. Make us proud. Finally, Glads, mark your calendar for next Saturday, April 22nd. Yes, it's prom Saturday, but if you're not busy or want something fun to do, come cheer on the WSD3 team as they take on the cops in a dodgeball fundraiser for teen suicide prevention. These games will be at Coronado High School from 10 a.m. until 1 p.m. Cost is $5 for adults and $3 for students. That's all I have. Have a great weekend. I'm Dylan Mack. Back to you, Jaden and Yolan. Thanks, Dylan. And now to all prom-related news. Juniors and seniors, prom court nominations are in. Next week on Wednesday and Thursday, you can vote for your prom candidates for king and queen. Voting will take place in the auditorium during lunch. Of course, you will have to attend the prom to know who wins the coveted crowns. That's right, Yulong. Blast from the Past is next Saturday, April 22nd, at the Double Tree Hotel. Dinner starts at 6.30, and the dance goes to midnight. Remember, your guest passes are due today. Please buy your tickets for $50. Remember, the last day to buy tickets is Tuesday, April 18th. Glad you cannot buy tickets at the door. So be sure to stop at the business office to get those tickets now. Be there or be square. Ladies, Becca's Closet just got in some new dresses. But if you haven't made your appointment to check out those free dresses, you need to do so quickly before the best ones are gone. Make your appointment with Miss Molina in room 111 or Miss HK in the library to check out dresses at lunch, advisory, or after school. Remember, the dress is yours to keep. Glads, if you're asking someone to prom and would like a picture of your prom proposal to be in the yearbook, see Sierra Perea or Kiana Dooley at lunch in room 104. One last but very important announcement about prom that is for everyone. Next week is Spirit Week, and you know what that means. That's right, dress up days. Here's the lineup. Monday is Jersey Day, Tuesday is Twin Day, Wednesday is Hawaiian Day. Please be sure to wear appropriate clothes. Thursday is Thrift Shop Day, Friday is Blue Out Day. You can wear hats for any outfit from Monday through Thursday. Hats will not be allowed on Friday. That's all we have for you today. We really appreciate your attention. Have a great weekend. I'm Yolanda Morrison. And I'm Jane McDonald, and this was your KWHS News.